Hey, this is Lance from Langchain. We're continuing our Langsmith Evaluation Series, talking about agent evaluation. So in the last video, I kind of gave a deep dive into general structure of agents and tool calling and um, how agents can be laid out. Um, so we talked about Langgraph agent, and this is kind of the classical kind of Langgraph agent layout where you have a tool calling LLM with some bound tools, input, the LLM makes the decision to use a tool or not. If it uses the tool, that goes to a different node, this tool node that actually runs the tool, returns the tool output to the LLM, and this continues until the LLM just returns a text response and doesn't choose to call a tool anymore. So that's like a very basic agent architecture you can put together with LangGraph. And we talked about three types of eval. So one type of eval is evaluating the final response, which is we talked through in detail. Now the second thing you can do is think about evaluating a single step in this agent. So typically what this looks like is you might evaluate, given an input, do I call the right tool? So let's show how to let, kind of lay that out. Again, we look at tool use, right? Really what you're doing is you have an LLM, you're binding a tool to it, or so a set of tools typically, and given an input, you're just kind of checking whether or not the right tool is called. So this is actually really useful, especially because so many different LLMs right now have tool calling. You may want to evaluate like how well is it actually working in my case with my tools. So this is a really good eval to think about. Now this is the notebook we already talked through. So just in case you hadn't seen it yet, this basically sets up uh, a LangGraph agent for SQL. So I'm using Chinook, Chinook DB. Um, so this is kind of all the code we already talked through. This is basically setting up my LangGraph agent. This is kind of defining all the different tools I want. So I'm using the SQL toolkit. Um, and I'm defining two custom tools right here, this query checker uh, and then this result checker. So those are my tools. I define my state, I define my agent. And again, we talked through this already. So, you know, you can go see the prior video if you want to see a little bit more explanation here. Lay out my graph and there you go. You can see the graph. We always showed how you can run this as a test. Now we just talked through response evaluation. And for that, we built a data set of question answer pairs. Okay, so that's what we have. Now let's talk about this single tool evaluation. So for this, what's kind of nice is I don't even really need my agent. All I need is basically just that LLM tool invocation. I can test that in isolation. So that's a nice little component I can, I can test. So this function basically just wraps that assistant runnable is basically, you can go back and look, that is basically just our SQL agent. So, or, or sorry, I should be more clear. That is the LLM that's part of our agent. So that is this piece, okay, LLM with tool use. And you can see you you put it in our agent like this. So you have the LLM, it gets a prompt, it makes decisions whether or not to use a tool. And LangGraph orchestrates this by basically connecting this LLM piece to a tool node. So this is like kind of your assistant node, tool node, and this goes in a circle. But the key thing is that LLM node needs to be able to use choose the right tool at the right time. So that's something you may absolutely want to evaluate. Okay, so that's that's what this runnable is. This is basically that LLM node in isolation. First, I just define this very simple function that wraps my assistant runnable, which we just talked through. So this, again, the assistant runnable uh, is basically just going to uh, invoke tool use or not. So I'm gonna basically pass example questions from my data set, which we talked about previously. So I have five different questions related to my database. I'm gonna pass each example into my runnable right here, and I'll get some result out. Now, again, if you look at our diagram here, that result is either going to be a tool call or just an, a, a response of some type, okay? And all I'm going to do is, in my evaluation function, I'm just going to go ahead and grab that response, so that's what you see here, and I'm going to extract the tool call if there is one. Now, there may not be, but that's fine. I just try to catch it. So if there's a tool call, I get it, and I compare the tool call to what I expected. That's all I'm doing. One, if, if it's correct, else zero. So this is a really simple way to build a custom evaluator that basically looks at whether or not the tool called by your LLM matches the tool you expect. And this is very generally useful. You can use this with you know many different LLMs that offer tool calling. Um, so I can go ahead and kick off an evaluation. So again, I'm just passing in my function here. I'm passing in my data set name. I'm passing in my custom evaluator, and that's all I need. I go to my data set, look at my experiments. Great, it ran. So I can look at all my examples, and here I can look at, this is just like the raw output of my, of my uh, LLM. And you can see, here's the input. The output is indeed a tool call, and it's calling the SQL DB list tables, which is exactly what we want. So basically, the way to think about this is, for our particular agent, for any input question, the first thing we've instructed to do 
is hit the SQL DB to list the tables. Okay, so for all cases, we expect this is the tool that it'll call. So that's just like a really nice simple thing. And I've hard coded that in my evaluation function. If I go back and look, I can see one, 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 one. So these are my single tool call scores and they're all correct. So basically my agent, or in this case, it's just my LLM, I'm testing in isolation, is correctly for every input question calling uh, that SQL DB list tables. You can see them all right here. So this is a good example of a really simple uh, single step evaluation you can do. Um, in my particular case, I always expected for any of the input question that this tool will be called. And so that's why I can hard code it. Now you can also be more sophisticated here because you could put this tool name in your eval set as a reference. And then for if, for example, if different questions or prompts basically elicited different tools, you can encode all that and very simply run that evaluation as well. So this is showing like the simplest case where you hard code your tool call, but you can absolutely do more sophisticated things like basically put this tool call in your uh, in your data set as a reference, you can run the eval that way. So again, really simple, very useful eval and very useful for evaluating different LLMs that all offer tool calling. Thanks.